Well, g'day guys. On the 24th of March, there's going to be a major upgrade to Blackboard Learn. It's called Service Pack 8, and it brings with it a whole lot of new features and enhancements, and I'm going to cover some of the best bits together in this quick tip. So it's pretty obvious from the get-go that the, the interface has been changed, and I think much for the better. Uh, this is the login screen. Even before a student logs in, it does some things. It checks their browser to see that they're up to speed. And if it's not the case, if they've got an old browser that's not compatible, they'll get a little message that looks somewhat like this, this little yellow message here, um, and in, it gives instructions on how they can upgrade their browser. I mention this because um, I note that a lot of staff still use Internet Explorer and often old versions in Internet Explorer 6 or 7 and if that's the case you'll need to upgrade and there are some instructions that I'll attach to this uh, quick tip that take you through that process. Okay, so let me now log in. So those changes to the user interface continue throughout the product. You'll notice it's a very much simpler, cleaner looking user interface. Um, and as I scroll down through it, I've got a new area where I've got all my units listed, but I can start to type in this little box here. And it prompts me for um, units that include that in their title, so I can quickly navigate to the unit that I want. Again, that look and feel has been simplified. It's a much cleaner uh, experience. And indeed, you can even customize that. There's a little themes area up here that you can change the look and feel, remembering that if you do this in your subject, you're changing it not just for you, but for your students. To be honest, some of them are a bit um, over the top for my mind. And I would indeed encourage you to, to stick with the default one because it, it ensures consistency between units. But it's nice to know that that ability is there. Also, as we move around the screen, some of the features, like um, you'll notice as I've moved my mouse over th items, they become highlighted and exposes other functionality, like the drop down list, like the ability to drag and reorder units. So, what it's doing effectively is hiding out of view all of those distractions that are currently in the, the older version or the current version and only making them available to you when you might need them. So as you hover things over things, things um, more information is provided at that point. That results, I think, in a much cleaner experience for you and for your students. The only subtlety that I will mention is that it's less obvious, I think, about this collapsing menu here. It's now just a tiny narrow strip. I'm a bit worried about that, to be honest, um, because it's not quite so obvious that that's an expanding and collapsing um, menu. So just make mention of that perhaps to your students. Okay, let's continue through. Maybe if I navigate into the Grade Center for instance and into the full Grade Center. So this is a fairly familiar interface to most. Oh, a lot of the buttons have become simplified across the screen as well. That's also nice. But what I often find, and you might do as well, is I'll arrive in, say, the grade center of one unit to only to discover, oops, I wanted to be somewhere else, please. I need to be in a different unit altogether. There's the ability to do that now um, through this drop-down list next to the Home button at the top. And what you can actually do is jump between this unit and any other unit that you have. And it even records for you the most recently visited units up here. Now, the advantage to that is I can jump out of this grade center into a grade center of an entirely different unit very, very quickly just by clicking between the, the various units listed here. So that's a really nice navigational advantage with the new system. There are a whole lot of new features that I haven't had time to cover, but I'll include in the um, email that I send out this document that summarizes some of the other features and gives a, a bit better overview of the extent of the changes. Of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to direct them to me, and I hope you enjoy the new features that Service Pack 8 brings you. Cheers.